Hello everyone, welcome back to one more video on the Linux series. In this video, we will focus on uh, setting up a Linux server on the cloud. We have already decided what we are going to use, which is uh, Vulture. In a previous video, we made a comparison between uh, different uh, cloud service providers and we finalized on it. Uh, in case you missed it, uh, please watch the video and let's go ahead. I'm at Vulture homepage now and I already logged into my account. Since we have already decided what we are going to choose, which is uh, the first one, 1 GB memory, 1 TB bandwidth and uh, 5 GB per month. I will go to my account and I will directly start with deploying the server. I am at instances and um, cloud compute, regular performance, Mumbai, whichever is closer to your location. Then obviously Alma Linux, we are looking at Alma Linux now. Five dollar per month, and I don't want a backup. Well, let's say let it be available there. And yes, enable IPv6 for me. Let us not do anything at present. And we don't need SSH key, we will directly use a password, username, password to connect. And do we need to name it? Yes, let's say mouse events. And uh, let's straight away go ahead and deploy it. And now this is uh, one TV regular compute, Alma Linux. It's in Mumbai and it started installing already. There we go. It got set up in uh, less than five minutes. Before you go ahead and set up your uh, cloud server, you need to do something first. Uh, you need to set up your billing. Uh, you need to add your credit card details or maybe you can deposit the money so that you don't need to add your credit card details. There are different ways. You can wire transfer the money or you can deposit some money using PayPal or even directly from a credit card you can deposit some money. What I did in this instance, I have already added my credit card long time back and so that it directly started uh, setting up it. And there we go, our cloud instance is set up in less than 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, less than that. There we go. The IP address is provided and uh, the IPv6 address is also there but this is not something that we need all we need is only the root and then the password so that we can uh, directly connect to it uh, through our putty we have already seen in one of our previous videos how to connect to a remote uh, Linux server whether it is running in a virtual machine or outside through putty so we will use this IP address and then uh, the root and password we also have the option to start using it directly from the console here so let's see the console you can stop a restart server you can do whatever you want i will go ahead and view the console and this is same like our uh, virtual box it right away went into it uh, it didn't even take much time like uh, how our uh, virtual machine was taking it was quick i will go first to the details to find the password Or I will just copy the password. I will not even see the password. Then uh, let me connect to root with the password here and press enter. Login incorrect. Clipboard. Okay, so basically I can paste something here in the clipboard and then it should paste. Anyhow, going to change the password, right? Let me go here, show the password. This is the password. Copy password and uh, come here paste it and paste so login is successful that's it there you go so let me go to putty and directly try to connect it i will create a new one with this ip address fine i will add a session i will call it as mouse events demo save and open this up yes it's asking me to connect let me right click and select change settings appearance FIRA code regular 14 so it's bigger cool username root and password there we go we copied it and right click enter okay there we go so now we have logged into the root account in our cloud linux server 
that's fantastic and wonderful and now what I'm going to do first and foremost thing I'm going to change the password and now uh, I'm going to use some commands which uh, uh, we will be learning at a later point in the Linux series so don't get confused here in case you do not understand that for changing a password password for which user so obviously the user is uh, root so new password is asked it's asked I'm giving a new password password is failed because it is based on a dictionary <laughs> well uh, then I will go with uh, something different after so many tries I have exhausted the password let me try again password root fine so tokens are updated let me clear the screen now if I go here this password no longer works shall we try this password now let me log out let me copy the password cool login as root right click password is pasted enter and it should fail perfect it failed so now I will enter the password that I have created and it works there we go so this is my friends uh, how we connect uh, how we set up a cloud linux server it was very easy and straightforward even to set up a linux server in your local machine it is much uh, work you need to download the iso you need to download the virtual machine you need to install set up uh, choose select everything but here it is fairly straightforward then we will see in another video. Thank you.